my good brother, God damn it, Jeezy, walked away from the shit. Man. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Men don't walk away from their woman, though. Yeah, that's true. Men don't walk away from their woman. Jeezy was like, fuck this shit. Here's the story. What old girl said afterwards. I didn't even watch it all, but it's been brought to me by a couple of people. The girl was basically talking about she works better with white people, white guys, but she play with dark meat. Wait, wait, where did she say that? The girl who eyes like yours, oh, that, she said that, that Shut your ass up. That's Mine right. aren't that stretch. Um, <laughs> that's his new book, by the way. I was actually going to bring that up. Adversity after for one. sale? Yeah, and then it's got a... Buyers, you got to believe. You got to believe. <laughs> Man, Jeezy the dipper right there with the makeup on his head. <laughs> but anyway, we with you, Jeezy. If the motherfucking shit ain't working out, get the fuck on. Because for a man to leave his wife, I'm telling you, it is my opinion. This is my opinion. When a man leave That's his wife, <laughs> that means enough was enough. And did you see what he posted the day before the filing went public? Before that gets brought up here, Corey makes a great point here. When men decide to leave a marriage here, you know something's up here because we don't file. If you look at the statistics, not just opinion what Corey's saying here, between 21 and 22% of men actually file for divorce. Women are the large contributors are filing for divorce here. So when a man says it's over, you see that it's over because we don't leave. Let's continue. Public, the divorce filing went public. Cause you know, what he happened? filed. Um, he, he posted a cryptic message and everybody was like, oh, wait a second, this sounds weird. Who's he talking about? And then boom, the next day he filed for divorce. So he posted on his IG, um, I'm too focused on who I'm becoming to focus on who's not coming with me. I love it. Yeah. And then boom, that was it. But do and then you the know next day, that that girl you know, was married before? Yeah. And that dude a, left? To a white dude because she he, he said she didn't want kids. And then she goes, and she has a kid. And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> so how you work? And that should be another red flag. I let them continue in a second here. Jenny Mott is her second marriage. Her first marriage, the husband wanted kids. He wanted a family. What is the point of getting married if you're not going to have kids? You might as well just stay single, especially at the age they got married. As soon as they broke up here, within a year, he had a new woman, had a kid, and he's living his best life here. So it's very ironic that within that year, she finds Jeezy, and then she decides to have a kid here. A Another red flag, guys. But let's continue. You work better with white dudes than you breed with the black dude. Two guys left you. Let me tell you something. If two guys leave you, you ain't got that no pussy ain't shit. You know what, big facts? That's a funny ass line. Yeah. I'm just saying, two motherfuckers left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we need it, to steam that pussy. Baby. Now they both. Now I don't know if any drama is going to become come from it because they both had prenuptial agreements in place. Both of them. I don't know nothing about hers, but I heard about Yeezys. Yeah, and they I'm, had. I'm both glad he was smart enough to put one, even though these girls out here, this is what they do. They come with that. He made me sign it under duress. Shit. No, they both had their own, I guess, when they came to the table, and it says a. Uh, of course, on the papers, it said the marriage is irretrievably broken and that they were, um, that they, the reason was that they were not on the same page. Now they could be saying anything not to drink, bring, you know what I'm saying, specific drama. You know how they're just very out there with it. And it just said, basically, say, we're not on the same page when it comes to family values. So. Who said that? That's what the filing says, that that's the reason why they Dude. can't. The filing came from Jeezy's Anybody's Wonder here. Remember, Jeezy filed the pep papers first last week as we were recording this video here. She hasn't responded to the documents yet. So everything that we're hearing from the initial divorce filings right now comes from Jeezy's lawyer. Let's continue. Who's was smoking weed in front of the kids. <laughs> I'm stupid, and you know he has three other you know, kids. You don't do that in that. You don't think that bitch smoke weed? He has she three other kids. She probably no. I'm I saying like you smokes. laid up with a bitch, you gonna yeah. if, if if you smoke weed and your bitch don't smoke weed, it's time to get away from that bitch. Bitch, yeah. you gonna do what I do? That's real. You shit. do what I say. We like don't Chris know. Father, Ray. Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> but what you know, you black lay up with a bitch and she don't do what you do. No, that ain't happening. Bitch, you ain't trying to fuck with. Go there with me, bitch. Go there. That's what you're saying. 
fuck with me. That's the saying. Go yeah. there. What do you say? The white kids be talking to each other when they're trying to talk to somebody into oh, yeah. drug. Go there with me. Black people are running daycare and be smoking weed while they oh, babysit other my... people's kids. Oh, so. my God. Oh, they got bitches out here getting these kids sleeping. Yeah. No, don't talk, I thought bitch. you guys were talking about the lady in the Bronx. That, that well, company. some bitch killed a baby. Yeah, she gave the baby some yeah. medicine. Oh, no, he found fentanyl. Go to this sleep. One. No. Was it, and uh, a motherfucking was... kid. Who got Jamba Juice? That's great. Go yeah. ahead, nigga. Get your Jamba Juice. What? Uh, we ain't got to sneak oh. shit. This ain't no yeah. podcast no, but like you can't. the regular news. Well, you still shouldn't show the names. So. Oh, show the name. Yeah. Can we judge it? Can, you can, can say we, it, but you didn't promote it. Can we do something like put some tape? Yeah. Yeah. He got some, yeah, he got some black tape right there, man. We Ooh, straight. Where? Uh, tape that motherfucker. That's why I always have to pour my little thing. Get, get that tape to feel or something. Or let A do it. He makes me. No, I'm fucking with uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell no. That's fucked up. Boy, like that. <laughs> but anyway, no, I, but, it's just sad because I always feel for the kids. So they have a one year old. What the hell say? Dark meat on the side. White keeps me me lean. Jeezy should have ran. No, the other person who made that wrote. Well, that was a made up meme, but you guys can actually look this up here. This is actually a verbal quote. She said this actually on her former show, The Real. You guys can Google it or YouTube it. This is Jenny Ma's actual quote, not just some written up someone made up here. Let's continue. Wrote oh. Jeezy should have ran. Well, she said some alluding to that. I mean, the bitch was on TV with Dark Meat. Was she? My show. Right, right, well, right. Lonnie loved them. Oh, yeah, you're right. The right. show ain't no more from what I hear, but I'm just saying. Mm. It's and like, canceled. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the bitch going to do now. Got them. You, she, you done married a motherfucking black man. I Your think limits, she was a stylist you, you before. Yeah. What are people in her community going to do? Oh, they're not going to mess with her. Too much no more. Yeah, too much it. Thank Titan you, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a rush. I actually am a mess, actually. I'll I, I, I smash it on GP, but I'll call Yeezy before I smash it. Yeah. Hey, hey, nigga, you know I got this bitch over here. This Corey, yeah. 5150. <laughs> Hilarious. It's all good? They probably had one of them, one of their first real black debates. You know what I'm saying? That happens. When mm -hmm. you date outside your race, it come to, there's always that one conversation that they can't understand. Yeah, but well, why would why would why now? Because they dated for three years and then they got married two years ago. That's five years. By now, you don't. What do you? What did right. you not discuss? Like, I'm gonna add some context here. I, they got together during the pandemic and got married literally rough from the year after, but we still had a lot of things shut down here. If you guys do your homework or know anybody who are relationship during the pandemic, they always have failed or broke down, especially people who got married really fast in the pandemic. So I look at this as a situation where you had two rich people got together, everybody was locked down, but it was getting their loving on and smashing them buns. And then when everything opened up, GZ over a period to short period of time saw the real Jenny Ma when everything was opened up here. And then he was like, enough is enough, enough, I gotta get out of here. What do I know here? But that's my two cents. Any pandemic relationship ends really fast here. Let's continue. Like, how the hell? It's always something. A relative probably said something or, you know, mom said something. I don't know, you know? It's like, yo, man, this is how life works, in my opinion. Like I say, this is my opinion. I don't know. Yeah. Yeezy is better out here on the streets doing what he do that's what made him who he is right you can't domesticate no man like that he'll try it right we all done tried but ain't no bitch finna tell no motherfucking man who is like a real manly man what the fuck <laughs> he supposed to be doing yeah <laughs> when you rich you a conqueror right man so uh... damn that shit is real how many, how many? And all good reviews so far, like his book. So I, I actually downloaded his, and then the other one I'm gonna talk about a little later. Jeezy, did I say Yeezy? Yes, yeah, you I did. Said Jeezy. You said Jeezy. Yeah. I said Yeezy one time. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Corey. Yeah. Nigga, it's Jeezy, nigga. The original Get your nigga with the name like bunch, that. Right. Nigga oh, who told God. us how to do it without saying it. Yeezy. That's what I say about Jeezy. Man. He used to know how to he tell you how to do it without saying yeah, it. Yeah, he tell you how to flip a bird without right. without saying a word. <laughs> right. Without without saying it in layman's yeah, terms. Yeah, he was yeah. cold with that. G 
Jeezy, yeah. we fans. I met him at Wild and Out, yeah. but it was weird. You know what I'm saying? Because we up here with the goofies and shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, what's up, brother? He's like, hey, what up, man? So it was cool. We we fans. We fans, Jeezy. He was like, are we, you Jeezy? He was like, yeah. Right. You know, that's how his background <laughs> vocals be. Right. Yeah. Snowman side yeah, of the day. Yeah, yeah. I had one of them snowman shirts that was looking mean back in the day oh. when he first came out. Oh, <laughs> when Little Ice was in um, Lake Junior High, he had, oh my God, he begged me so bad for this jacket. I wish you would have saved it. Was it a had, snowman oh, jacket? Oh, big old snowman in the back with black felt with leather. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, oh. yeah. Hey Jeezy, we up, we 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 rooting for you, bro. Yeah. I ain't saying we we ain't rooting for the bitch, but we ain't rooting for the bitch. The but kid. I'm just saying, rooting yeah. for the kid, rooting for the kid too. So there you go. Yeah, all they all the good child. shit. We want the good shit to come to you, bro. Uh -huh. and you out there, you got the you got you got the, the go ahead to go out there and do what the fuck you got to do. And he has I know children. so many motherfuckers who will lay up yeah. with a bitch that ain't got no good intentions, man. For years, let's not leave everybody out. To start gotta, over, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go with the snowman shirt on, goddammit. Yeah, oh, yeah. other motherfuckers back out. Jeezy niggas love them shirts, man. Yeah. The mean snowman. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his other kids is beating up on the kid he got with her. He got three other kids grown. Yeah, well, three other kids? yeah but they're not grown. That's her first thing came out of the womb? Yeah, she wasn't, she didn't want any kids in that earlier that motherfucker marriage. motherfucker Christian her womb and she couldn't act right. Hilarious. What's uh, her name? Dang. Jeannie Mai. What's her Jeannie name? Mai. Jeannie Mai. Jeannie Mai. And she's, I think, I believe she was a stylist anyway. She was a stylist? Mm hmm It's about to be doing some hair. Yeah. Excuse me. Jesus. That little oh pussy ass show oh, over with. She about to get back that. with white boys. I didn't mean to do Yeah, that. get back to them motherfucking white boys, goddammit. Hustle that monkey in the game. Yeah. Use yes, your little Ronald. TV motherfucking uh, whatever you did. Yeah, yeah. What'd that say, D? Pisces. Nah. What does that say? So let me get you out of the game, <laughs> man. Okay, on that note, they're going to go to something else here. So we'll just clue, conclude on this video here. But let me just add my two cents after I talked about this in my live stream a couple of days ago. And I'll put the link in the description below. Between Jeannie and I and Jeezy, I already mentioned it here. Pandemic love. Anybody that gets together during the pandemic, nine times out of ten, we're seeing these relationships fail really fast. Some of them have already been filed for divorce, and we're seeing more relationships as we go on now. As they see the real person, everything is open. People are outside. You're able to re live in our regular lives again, and people are just saying, hey, you know what? I made a mistake. That's one item, too. Another red flag I mentioned earlier. Guys, anytime a woman throughout her entire life says she does not want kids, and all of a sudden she's 40 years old and she gives you a child, I'm not saying that you women cannot change y'all ideas and change your minds here. But that is something major when a woman says that she doesn't want this here. So it makes you wondering the parental situations here, maybe postpartum or whatever comes to play with having a baby. But when a woman's that defiant about not having seeds, you need to check for that as well. And also the number three, when we're talking about her first marriage here, same thing I'm going to get on here. When she was with her white husband, he wanted kids adamantly and she did not want to give it to him. And that's why he left her. And within a year, he had a baby. That should tell you something right there how men do want to have families. Men do want to raise their seeds with the right person here. And for some reason now, Jenny Mines had two divorces under five years here. We got to look at the look at her saying, maybe, maybe it's possibly you here. But we're going to find out more information after the divorce files come out here. We'll get an update from her whenever she does make a comment. And eventually then we'll get more information from Jeezy. But until then, this is going to be wild and crazy. And I also believe that she may try to challenge that prenup because the book that he just came out that's getting great reviews, he dropped it a day before the filing. So knowing how probably nasty women can get here, she may try to go after the book because it happened during their marriage. She may even say that she helped with the book. And then let's add, of course, child support, fellas. So I hope that he has an ironclad prenup, but we'll see in the future. But what do I know? I'm just a YouTuber. I want to hear your thoughts here comment like subscribe and click on that bell notification below we think about my commentary what do you think about what Corey and the 51 crew were saying here but until next time i'm that dude named day see y'all there youtube world